It's the most spooktacular season of the year. I'm talking about fall. And what comes out in fall? Well, none other than pumpkins. We're going to see a unique twist that they're getting today. Pumpkins were gonna be the scariest part about this episode, but not the, not it. No, need to find them. Oh, oh my god, you guys totally freaked me out. I was like, where am I going right now? Well, these are the two maniacs behind Maniac Pumpkin Carvers. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store here. Should we go check it out? Yeah, thanks. Welcome. Come yeah. on. All right, let's do it. Son of a patch! Now I know why they chose this interesting location. It keeps the pumpkins fresh and cool, and there's a lot of space for the artists to work. Inside, Maniac Pumpkin founders are hard at work transforming this locally grown fruit into works of art, proving that they are the pumpkins of carving. Even before you start carving it, just an orange pumpkin People freak out, they want to touch it. They see a big pumpkin, they're like, oh man. You know, so once we start carving it, it's really cool. It started as a hobby. Um, Mark and I have been friends since we were 12. So we've always been really into Halloween. We've always loved dressing up. We've always loved carving pumpkins. Uh, and it really just started gradually with each year trying to do something cooler. And the two professional artists started Maniac Pumpkin Carvers in 2008. They grew to find that people were carving out time to place orders for this seasonal decoration. You know, there weren't that many people who were carving pumpkins as works of art when we first got started and we really created a, a niche and, and a, a business model I guess for doing it professionally. Our first big order was 50 pumpkins uh, for Yankee Stadium for um, for game one of the World Series. And that's when we realized that uh, we had a little seasonal business. So you were hitting a home run, yep. Yeah. Right, right <laughs> off of that, there we have it. Once the temperature goes down and the leaves begin to change, it's crunch time for the founding duo and their team members. They use locally sourced pumpkins to create pieces for museums, private events, advertising companies, weddings, and more. We always have uh, at least you know, 50 or sometimes over 100 pumpkins at a time. There's a few different style carvings that we do. There's the etching style where we light it up on the inside and it's more for like a nightlife scene. And then there's the sculptural type pumpkins where we're actually, it's like a subtractive method and we're using um, clay loops and, and removing pulp to actually sculpt the pumpkin out. Keeping with their artistic roots, Chris and Mark prove that a pumpkin can be a canvas for fine art. Every year we do a pumpkin for the Museum of Modern Art. For the, this will be our fifth year doing a, a work of art that's in their collection or, or on display there. Um, so that's always like a huge honor and a, a favorite project for us. All right, so here you are, Mark, in action as a Carvin Marvin. What are you working on now? This pumpkin is based on a painting that I had made that's called The Star Child and it's a, a really fun imaginative painting. What I'm doing is I'm carving into different depths into the skin of the pumpkin and it almost makes it look like there's more colors than just the orange of the pumpkin. What are the tools that you're using to make this pop? I have these linoleum cutters. Um, these are normally used for block printing or, or rubber stamp making. They're, they're pretty sharp. They're really good for fine detail. And then I have these uh, ribbon loops that are typical for clay sculpting or ceramics. While they carve like maniacs in their studio in Brooklyn, they also bring it to the city streets. They perform live carving events both to kickstart the season and inspire the artistic community. When we do stuff live, we have to work a little quicker, um, but it almost becomes like a, a form of performance art. It, one of my favorite reactions is when people get inspired to do a pumpkin carving or even just to like get back into some form of art. We also always try to elevate the art of pumpkin carving. Um, it's a business but it's also an art and a passion for us.
So while I'm not going home with an actual car pumpkin, I'm gonna go home with a regular pumpkin. I've gotten lots of ideas from the pumpkin carvers I checked out today. This really is a great part of the season. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clements. Thank you.